Howdy, and welcome to uh, Jared's Log Prologue, I guess is what I'm calling this. My name's Jared Compton, and this is probably the stupidest idea I've had in a long time. Uh, this, uh, I guess it's going to be a vlog, it's going to be very much in the style of a uh, Steven vlog, which is is on YouTube, but uh, the difference is he, when he started the vlog, was going as a multimedia productions like major at uh, SCAD. Yeah, I'm going as a I'm going to be a physics major at uh, Texas A&M, and um, today I'm just running some errands and stuff. But uh, I figured I was just gonna start the vlog, just try it out, I guess. And so I'm starting the vlog because I want to, uh, you know, just keep track of my life. You know, home video is kind of dead, I guess. But this is kind of the closest thing I've got to it, especially as I'm going off to college and starting it off. You know, this is the start of the next chapter in my life and I kind of just want to keep track of that for myself and then you know I'm always been a story person whether it be in games uh, movies books that kind of stuff I've always loved a good story and I found that people have some of the most interesting stories so maybe some people out there will be interested in my story and so you know I'm just kind of keeping track of that but today's just gonna be very generic uh, I'm gonna probably go get the car cleaned like vacuum the inside of it because right now I'm moving stuff in there and that stuff is nasty back there and then I'm also probably gonna get a haircut because this is I mean I like it long most of the time but I'm probably just gonna get it cut today and this is not gonna be a very good formal introduction to the blog this is just kind of the the start I guess because I gotta start somewhere so uh, I'll see you guys around all right, um, I'm actually moving right now, but uh, it's because I'm in the car wash, so this is gonna be uh, interesting. This is probably gonna be the most exciting part of today's video, I guess. So, you know, this is this is nice. But uh, yeah, after this, I guess it's vacuuming the back of it, and then going into the, uh, going into the hair place to get my hair cut, so. All right, so I'm back in the back. Not perfect, but a definite improvement of what it was. So, uh, again, I hope I'm doing this right, because this is the first time I've done it the flipped way, but uh, that's about it for now. Now I guess I'm gonna go get a haircut, and uh, I guess I'll update you guys then. All right, so I uh, just got a haircut. It looks pretty good. I mean, there's no product in it or anything currently, which I probably put into it, so it's not as like floppy, I guess. It's a little more controlled and less of a mess. But it, it looks really good, and I'm happy with it, so that's nice. Uh, this took way less time than I thought it would. I mean, I'm going to have to stall for a little while, because I also want to pick up my last paycheck for my work today, but they probably won't have it in right now. And so I'm probably going to end up just going to this Walmart behind me. You can see it, like, right there in the corner. Yeah, it's just a small thing when I'm inside, but they have these weird gates at her Walmart now, where you can walk through them this way if you can't the other way. That's really cool. Alright, so I'm in the bike section section of Walmart. Uh, I'm not getting anything this time, but last time we were here, it wasn't this one, but there's another one. We got a bike lock here because I'm going to be biking with me up there occasionally. And so we got like one of these bad boys, like here or something like that, I think. But that wasn't the thing that excited me the most. I mean, we got a basket too, so I could like carry stuff, which would be really nice. But the main thing I was going to say is I got one of these bad boys right here. That's right, we got a little down thing. Really, really dumb. I thought it was hilarious. And this is still super awkward. Like, there's a worker right there. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to get adjusted to this. So I am going to keep on doing this because this is tough. All right, now we've gotten to my favorite section. This is like the tech area here. I thought the video games were back there. I must have changed it since the last time we're here. Or I'm thinking of the other Walmart. There's two of them close by and we get to both of them a lot. But I don't know. Let me see if I can find any games, something I think are interesting before I head off. There's also a GameStop around here. So if I can't find anything, I can just check out there, I guess. So who knows? Let's see. We got any good games here? Look at the switch section currently. And uh, I really don't see anything right now. But uh, who knows, I may check out that GameStop later. Goodness, there's a TV <laughs> sound demo behind me. It's probably picking it up better than I am. 
Of course, that's one of the disadvantages of not shooting with a proper camera and instead shooting with an iPhone 6s. Of course, this is definitely not going to be the best run like series that way because I am also going to be editing just using iMovies. So who knows if this is even picking up what I'm saying right now. I'm, uh, I'm, I think I can figure out how to edit this stuff well enough to where I can cut out all the really bad parts. But all right, so I've stumbled across a couple other things I thought was interesting. For one, I saw a Harry Potter like picture book version. I would have shown it, but it was right by that TV that was playing all the movie demos, so that was a little loud. Then I also found these things. I don't know if this is recent or something, but literally these are like doors that close these areas. I'm used to them just being open. And goodness, I hope I actually got video of that because I couldn't tell where I'm loading my camera was pointing. Alright, so I'm back in the car now. And uh, there's a couple more things I saw that were kind of interesting. But once again, they were most of them were by the, the movie demo that was really loud. For instance, they had a retro section. It was like a little retro and it was in the movies. And I was like, okay, let me see what... Uh, like what like DVDs and like Blu-ray discs they have labeled as retro. I went over there to the section and it was all anime, which was a little weird, cause like that was the only thing in that section. Like there was other sections and it'd be like normal stuff plus like anime, but then like the retro TV section was just anime, which was just a little weird. I just noticed that. And um, the other thing is, and this is gonna sound really weird at first, but uh, I was using the restroom real quick in there, and the um, they recently swapped the, like, the flushing mechanism, I guess, because, like, they had the automatic ones still in the wall, but they had removed parts of it and swapped that with the manual one. And so, like, you can still see the place where the automatic one was, but now they have the manual one back in there, which I thought was a little weird. And they also had, like, a little cheese grater thing over, like, one of the holes of, like, the urinals. I guess that way people don't try to flush the trash inside, but... It was just really weird, and I have no idea why I'm telling you this right now. I just thought it'd be interesting. <sighs> Alright, so I just went to a GameStop, picked up <laughs> some games because I have no self control, but they're both used, so that's, that's at least slight justification. And one of them I had already ordered off Amazon, I picked up the DS version of Chrono Trigger. Alright, I got some bad news. The, uh, the Chrono Trigger cart wasn't working. Like, I'd have to push it in further than it should go to get it to actually read the game, and the second I let go of it, it wouldn't read it again, like, it'd go gone. So that means, unfortunately, I'm going back to GameStop to uh, return Chrono Trigger here, because it was, like, seven or eight bucks cheaper here than it was on the Amazon order, so I'm just going to have to cancel that order, because I already got one. I also picked up Xenoblade Chronicles, the 3DS version, just to give it a try. I mean, I heard a lot of people like that one, so I decided I was going to try it out. But, uh... Uh, I think that may be it for the day. Actually, I can't think of anything else I want to talk about. Maybe when I get like, my last paycheck from work, maybe. But um, uh, I think this is probably it. So thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you again sometime.